Hello, my name is Ivan Nunes with the City and County of Denver. In this video, I will provide an overview of when and why you need third-party data verification. Then I will be giving step-by-step -step instructions on the data verification process that highlights what third-party data verifiers need to do in order to complete and certify a verification checklist. If you are a building owner, please watch my video titled Data Verification Process for Building Owners. There are two main reasons that the City of Denver requires third-party data verification. They are benchmarking performance evaluations and target adjustments. To clarify, for benchmarking performance evaluations, third-party verification is not required for every single year's benchmarking report. If your building has an approved timeline adjustment, evaluation years may vary. For example, if your first performance target year is 2025, you will need to have your 2025 energy data verified before it's submitted by June 1, 2026. Data verification is required for every type of target adjustment, but depending on the type of target adjustment you apply for determines what year of data needs to be verified. Data verification for square footage and energy data corrections must be done for the baseline year and data verification for all other target adjustments must be done for the most recent reporting year. The City of Denver requires that third-party data verification be performed by a professional with one of the licenses, credentials, or certifications listed below. Third-party data verification cannot be done by the building owner, an employee of the building owner, and anyone designated by building ownership to perform benchmarking reports. An exception to this rule is if the person who completed the benchmarking reports is a professional engineer or a registered architect. Then they can also complete the third-party data verification. Now we will move into the step-by-step -step process for data verification for data verifiers. I will begin with an overview of each step of the whole process followed by more detailed information on each step for data verifiers. The process of data verification entails the owner connecting with the data verifier in Energy Star, sharing the property, and gathering necessary information to support the verification. The data verifier then confirms the benchmarking data, reviews the necessary documentation and information provided by the building owner, generates the data verification checklist and completes the data verification checklist. After the building owner has completed all necessary steps, the data verifier can now begin the process of generating and completing the data verification checklist. As the data verifier, you will start by logging into your Energy Star Portfolio Manager account. Once logged in, go into the reporting tab on the upper left hand corner. On the right-hand side of the page, find the PDF link titled Data Verification Checklist under Energy Star Performance Documents. You will now see a window titled Generate and Download Reports. For Step 1, select Energy Star Data Verification Checklist, Energy Data Only. In Step 2, select the specific property you are creating a data verification checklist for. For Step 3, Select the time frame for which the data verification checklist is being generated. As stated previously in slide 2 of this tutorial, please ensure that this matches with either the specific performance evaluation year or the target adjustment year the checklist is intended for. Under Step 4, select the relevant property contacts that will be receiving the data verification report. Next, confirm all selections are correct and click Generate and Download Report. Now you are ready to complete the data verification checklist. The checklist is separated into four sections. They are whole property characteristics, use details, energy consumption data, ending with the name, date, and signature of the verifier. Please note that a stamp is not required for Energize Denver submissions. Once received, the building owner or responsible party will keep the checklist on file to then submit the target adjustment. 
In addition to generating and completing the data verification checklist, the data verifier must provide contact and verification information. For benchmarking year verification, start by going into the Details tab and click on Add Verification Information. Fill out all requested information shown on the right-hand side of this slide and confirm. For target adjustment data verification, a signed PDF file must be submitted with the target adjustment application. Several important points to note for data verifiers. Data verification does not require an on-site visit. Unless the data verifier determines it is necessary to confirm the property details in question before signing the documentation. Building owners can choose to benchmark their building as one property type following EPA guidance. Or they can break down high density property types by square footage. Confirm with the building owner how it is being benchmarked. For the section on indoor environmental quality, NA can be filled in for benchmarking as well as target adjustments if it does not apply to the details in question. For additional detailed information on data verification, target adjustments, and energy benchmarking in general, additional resources are available on the Climate Action, Sustainability, and Resiliency webpage. Go to Energize Denver Hub and select Buildings 25,000 square feet or larger. You can then go into the Benchmarking Requirements page and access information on data verification requirements as well as access third-party data verification guides in a downloadable written form. This concludes the presentation on target adjustment data verification for data verifiers. If you have any questions about target adjustments, data verification, or any other aspect of Energize Denver programs, please reach out to our help desk via email at energizedenver at denvergov.org or give us a call at 844-536-4528. Thank you.